Hello my soccer universe to the long overdue Copa America jersey review. We're gonna do this in two videos. Today I'm gonna talk about the teams in group A and then tomorrow you'll get the video for the teams in group B. Why so late? Well, I got a little bit late to the Copa America party but I still could have made this video already beginning of the week. However, reason number one, reason number two. Now it finally looks like something unpacking video will probably be posted uh, soonish. There is, at, I'm shooting this now on the Thursday evening, there is a final jersey still coming of one of the teams that are involved here. However, um, I decided to do the video any, anyway and reveal that jersey probably within the, for sure, within the unpacking video, but you will see it on the wall most likely um, of when I talk about the third place playoff and the final. Okay, so we need to talk about the Group A jerseys. Uh, for now, I have decided to switch to my Argentina away 2015 uh, one uh, for a good reason. I will go through these jerseys as they were uh, seeded into the group, meaning, uh, you know, who is the first, second, third and whatever team. And since the guest teams have been eliminated, you find no guest teams here. Uh, it's also fine. And so we only talk about South American teams, which I think is in many ways how it should be. And we will start out with Argentina. The new Adidas Argentina home jersey uh, take has a completely new take on the classic stripes, and in our and in South America, and I'm so happy I have I have it. There are only two nations, Argentina and Paraguay, that actually have striped jerseys, and I think those are the only nations overall. Oops, yeah, the one guest team that snuck in. <laughs> I just wanted to hang a jersey uh, show show up there. It's still American, but not South American. In any case. Uh, Classic Argentina. Uh, we have only a little bit black in forms of uh, names and numbers and a little the Adidas logo, but the three stripes are in light blue, which I think is a pretty nice touch to give it a more unified look. Um, I think that it's worn with white pants mostly, which is something I'm not so uh, happy about, but okay. But I, I was wondering what's the pattern? Why do we have such heavily patterned stripes and to the point where it is actually noticeable when you watch it in game that there is different shades of this light blue and to also to, to the point that some even if you look look at this picture which I squint a little bit uh, it seems to be vanishing at points so to me it's a little bit uh, much in that sense however there is a it is supposedly meant to represent and I put a graphic up the map of Argentina's provinces. I keep this now up here. Maybe you can figure out a little bit here. I don't think it's all north-south. This is a little bit uh, all you know, tilted and jumbled together. I have a hard time uh, if this is really the inspiration, I have a hard time really connecting the dots. If this was literally the, uh, the map of Argentina within the stripes, I actually would love this a whole lot. Don't get me wrong, I'm a geo freak, but to me it's not very obvious that it actually is, and so it looks like, yeah, an artist painted the stripes in some weird way. It is a little bit joyful. It is, I mean, it is not a really bad look. It, it gives some vibrancy to it, you know, clouds and whatever. However, I feel it's the, you know, the conservative soccer jersey appreciator uh, is also has a little bit hard trouble with it. I'm still gonna go seven stars because I think they try something new. It just didn't quite work out in my opinion, but it's still identifiable Ar 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 Argentina. I wish they would have gone, you know, that the lightest blue color is a little bit a deeper shade of blue. I think that I would have appreciated, not that the uh, stripes are so fade, fading away. Moving to the away jersey, and you know, I'm always a sucker for Argentina away jersey, but it has been a long time that they really delivered uh, one that I really, really, really would like to have. The 2011 was the last one with the navy and then some Argentina flag details. When this one came out, I actually thought, yeah, this is it, and then it's kind of this steely blue, and this is similar here. It's of course the classic Adidas template, and I love the flag uh, curves. That is pretty cool, I have to say. 
However, I think the color, the color is a little bit off. And then the patterning, yeah. <laughs> I also wish that, uh, you know, here the stripes are white here. I would have wished that, that those here are light blue. And the same thing here, although three stripes are light blue, maybe make the middle one white. Why is Adidas not using that overall? It is not a uh, bad jersey. Argentina jerseys are rarely bad, although some, 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 they can be real. If they get, if they're bad, they're really bad. Let's let's put it that way. However, I'm still a little bit. Yeah, the color could be a lot more deeper blue. It's kind of this uh, it has this kind of steely quality like this one to it. Um, and yeah, I I mean, what I like like about this one is that on the tail it has kind of this Argentina flag, and not really uh, there. Here we have it on the cuffs, which I think is nice little bit missing so I would say uh, it's more chance missed than that and that's for I'm going six stars moving on to our first marathon jersey by uh, for Bolivia which is one of the count cars I still have yet to get and green it's a rather unique color within South America I have to say I am a little bit disappointed with this one yes there's a nice pattern in there that maybe can be interpreted as some condo wings but going in there I'm not so sold on the black sleeves to be honest uh, color is fine but I have seen much better Bolivia jerseys uh, this is not it I love the crest the crest is pretty cool for probably with the big condor on there but other than that hmm, yeah yeah it's not quite too much like I mean either black or dark green sleeves it, it just uh, it doesn't fit with me and then the color is this light green and you have the heavily patterned stuff so yeah um, to me not quite perfect so that's why I'm going five stars and then the third kit although uh, nice no, not the third kit it's the away jersey uh, A is trying to kind of copy the modern Adidas color that we will see in, like on all the new re newly released uh, shirts for the 21-22 season for instance Juventus uh, I really like the zigzag pattern it makes it interesting uh, but why red I mean it, yes it's one of the national colors got that but as a contrast to the green it's rather poor the good thing is that if you look here uh, what are South American teams playing in you can very well see that green and red probably provide enough contrast within South America if Bolivia would uh, qual qualify for a World Cup that would not do I actually I do like this better than a home jersey uh, mainly because the pattern there's a little razzle dazzle effect on it and I think the cut is all not all that bad but again um, I think Bolivia would need probably a white white one too but I'll give this seven stars for that one moving on to Uruguay and I changed into the Uruguay jersey for that one that's the 2018 one we are now in 2021 this is i think they had one released for the last cop america of course and now we get this one and this is the first national team jersey that i see with the new puma temp temple with the side under the on, 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 on the arms and then a little bit uh this cut off thing um also not the crest is monochromatic which doesn't really stick out that much because there's a whole lot of gold and only a little bit blue and uh, white but this is all a monochromatic crest um and other than that here for me you you is always light blue with a little bit of black here we get very teeny bit accent if the accents are white of course the stripes are a reference to the uruguayan flag i think i have it even here on the back uh, you can you can you can you can really see there there is this striped striped pattern as well in reference to, to the Uruguayan flag. Um, again, nothing really really exciting. Um, I think is there a pattern? There might actually be a pattern on there from what I can make out, but the picture is not all that great. But just from low looking, at it, it is a decent Uruguay jersey. But it doesn't do much for me per person. I actually did like this one, do like this one better. So I'm going with this one uh, for six stars because it doesn't really excite me much. And then of course Uruguay does the same thing as we have seen at the Euros for Italy, Austria, the Czech Republic and Switzerland. Uh, Uruguay is going definitely the Austria way here by leaving the crest completely off and putting it all over the fabric. 
which honestly is not the is not a bad move you have Uruguay the country name maybe the Puma cat is a little bit too much there it's a very minimalistic uh, shirt but from what I hear athletes actually like uh, this and having the logo all over yeah I mean sure I would love it to be right here where it belongs but at least it is somewhat there and a little bit more prominent uh, although you don't see it in play still it's not a great template I mean I think this is of all the ones that I've seen. I think the Austrian one is maybe a tad better, but this is the second best of this type of away jerseys. And for that reason, I'm gonna give this five stars. Moving on to Chile with potentially the last Nike uh, jerseys because there's a big dispute and for the Copa, uh, Chile from second game on has been covering up the Nike logo with the Chilean flag because of payments that may or may not have been made. So uh, that will be interesting. The Chile home jersey uh, has, of course, this flashy stripes, but with some pattern in there, which I find interesting. I actually find the color interesting as well, because it gives a little bit of visual interest. I'm not so sure about the sleeves, and especially since it's this Nike template uh, that if they wouldn't have this, this, this colored it, well, you know, this uh, it looks like uh, the American football jersey and goes into a raglan sleeve cut on, on the back. So it's kind of a template, but then not because they just decided to hide it away and make the sleeves white. Not so sure about the white sleeves too, to be honest, but I think overall it's a decent uh, Chile jersey. I like that there's a little bit more color in there. I would love to know what the logos on the side are. Uh, so yeah. Also, crest without a soccer ball in there is always a good thing, in my opinion. So that 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 was. I think uh, it's a few things that um, I don't want to say bad about me, but that just just don't quite do it for me. But I think still good for seven stars here. The away jersey though is maybe one of the most talked jerseys when Nike released it, and I can understand why because it is rather spectacular in terms of color. And it's the only one where I know that the flashes on the side are actually in two colors, which makes it interesting and makes a little bit more sense than if it was unicolored uh, in many ways. Um, I do like, I mean, there's definitely a cultural reference to, you know, um, pre, uh, how to say, pre conquista. Uh, uh, cultures with kind of this pyramid shaped blue shape on the red, which I think is a pretty bold pattern. pattern. I am personally not 100% sold on it, but I, I am go growing to like it. The one thing I do not like is how the sleeves kind of, I mean, yes, the zigzag pattern, great, but it goes a little bit counter to this uh, step pattern, and then it it's a little bit too wild for me. Um, so I think that is a little bit a downer for me. I still think it's a spectacular jersey and yeah, um, Peruvians, if I would get a Chile jersey, my Peruvian part of the family would definitely kill me. Uh, but you know, that would be one Chile jersey that I would actually consider. I'm giving it because it's so daring, eight stars. And now moving on to the next one, which is Paraguay and Paraguay is back with Puma and we get crafted by culture and I have to say that first try is actually quite a, a really really nice one I prefer this this stripe with so the wider stripes and uh, the back being red which actually made it possible to play the red and white stripes against Peru in many ways however um that is made the one thing it does not sit so well also I'm never I was never a big fan fan of the way that you know you have the thick strap and a very thin pin strap another very thin pin pin and then you go to the thick strap strap again i mean this always looked a little bit weird to me but then so of course do this uh sleeves to be honest so i'm all right with it but uh, i'm you know i'm trying to get used to it let's put it that way however what i really love is the pattern within the straps uh have you seen my neem jersey Mm -hmm. There's such a pattern in there as well. I know this is not crocodile scales. This is a reference to a classic um, pre-Columbian cloth. That was actually the word I was looking before. Uh, you know, a traditional clothing style which has this kind of scaly pattern. This looks awesome. 
I absolutely love this reference in, in there. I am getting a little bit tired of these Puma templates and this is very much copying Nike where you have the template and just this front uh, part is the one where both the pattern and the rest is a rather run-of-the-mill template uh, stuff. So maybe if that was continued on the back, I would love it even more. Uh, but other than that, I have to say this is a pretty awesome Paraguay shirt and I'm also gonna give this eight stars. And I also have to give credit to this away jersey uh, that kind of puts the Paraguayan flag on it. White makes sense and then over the shoulders you get the flag of Par Paraguay. Isn't that beautiful? I actually think this is really really well done, really smartly done. I wish maybe that the flag part would extend a little bit more that the crest then gets centered on the flag. That's maybe the one detail that I am missing here. Other than that, I think this is also a very darn fine jersey. Paraguay looking quite good on the field and I would give this also eight stars. So yeah, we are through with group A. Please let me know which jerseys you liked in here. Uh, which ones do you think I was wrong? Uh, where do you think I totally off and, and so on? I just want to hear your op opinion on these jerseys as well. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and I will talk to you soon with group B. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so that you're updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!